does look so much better in the sun. Uh, Dave Barrett. Now tell us about this fabulous scooter you got here. Um, right, yeah, power-wise, it's um, just under 30 brake horsepower. It's, um, it's got about 22 foot-pound of torque. 15 foot pound at about 3,000 RPM. Peak power is about 6,800. Uh, it's geared for about 92, but it's set up for touring, not really like a race spec. Um, gory close ratio gearbox. It's an RB250 monocoque barrel um, with a Wasner piston in it. Uh, 64 stroke crank with a one. Um, 34 mil Polini flat slide carb. And the exhaust is made by pipe design, which you can't get anymore. Um, but it's been modified, sip end capping on it. And something tells me you spent a lot of money on this. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I do a lot of builds for people now. I do a lot of restorations and stuff. I mean, <clears throat> if I was doing a job like that for someone, I'd be looking at about 18 grand wow. to build something like that. It is stunning. Yeah. And I mean, I'm guessing the paintwork is not going to be done justice by my camera. Really. It's, it's no, a not really. I mean, it, it does look a lot better in the sunlight. If you bring it indoors, it looks different. It, look, it starts going a bit more pu purple. <coughs> if you look at it on the inside here, you can see it looks a lot darker than the front where the sun's on it. Um, there's a sparkle in the lap as well. Um, so, yeah, basically when the sun hits it, it's, it's reflecting the light back. It's like light reflective. And how long have you had it? Um, this, well, I finished it just before Whitby, um, back, at, back in Easter. Um, I literally finished it the night before. But nobody had seen it, because there were no pictures on the social media or anywhere like that. You know, I kept it on Facebook, I kept it everywhere, you know. So the only time anybody saw it was when I first showed it. The Whitby literally got it, got it out of Whitby. No one has seen it. A few people knew I was building it, you know. Yeah. My mates have been round and seen it, you know, when I was putting it together at home. Have you got any but, other scooters? Yeah, I, well, I own the white one there as well. Tell us about that one. So that's, um, that one's an RT230 reconversion done by Mark Bulldogs, the barrel. Um, again, that's all done by me. Um, that one's... I've never actually had it dyno, so I don't know what the horsepower is, but it's probably low 20s. How long a build like this is going to take? Um, the, pink, the pink one, the RZA, that took about 18 months to do that. This one took about a year. But, I mean, I was waiting for the paintwork for about a year for the RZA. You know, it's a bit off of it, and I wait because of COVID. And, uh, but, you know, getting all the parts together, collating it all, and trying to put them together without scratching them is, is, is not very easy. Did you ever contemplate selling them? Not really, no, I mean, you know, a lot of them I've got, I've got five band Lambrettis basically, and one of them I've had for 38 years. Um, you know, I've had it from brand new basically, an Indian GP. So I don't really tend to sell them. But, Fantastic. You know, I mean, yeah. Well, good luck at the show, the both of you. Yeah, yeah. I hope you have a cracking weekend. All right, thanks Thank very you. much. Cheers. What's your name? It's Nita. Nita, how are you doing? It's a fabulous scooter you got here. Yeah, thank you very much. I've had it now coming up 20 years. Idea developed, I used to ride with Bristol Mods. We all had ridiculous horns and so it was like thinking of the next stage of making everybody giggle. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if the ice cream horn would work and then I could do the theme of the ice cream scooter. So that's how it evolved and not the back since really. How long have you had it? So it's about nearly coming up 20 years now. 20 years. And the paintwork's still the same. I 
think it's got all the knocks and dents from going all over Europe, but... Um, Roughly, in that time, how many ice creams have you sold? <laughs> I'm not doing a roaring trade because I go too fast for that. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, it still makes people giggle. I haven't put it in a custom show for 10, 15 years, 15 years. So I just thought today, people say, Nick, put it in. And it's the right weather. It's the right weather. And people still like to, still people who haven't seen it, even people though. People like to smile. Yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous. Good luck in the show. Shall it's I fantastic. put the horn on? Yes, please, yes. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>